Today we're going to look at six beginner exercises you can utilize to build that core strength. When I'm talking about the core, I mean the front, the side, and even the back of your body. By building the musculature around your spine, you can support that spine, and then a supported spine allows your limbs to be more effective in the water. If you've only completed core training for under a year, or you're just kind of coming back to it after it's some time away, you're in the right spot with these beginner exercises. If you have more experience and you want something more advanced, head over to the advanced variation video. If you're starting here with the beginner, start with two rounds through and follow along as I cue the exercises coming up. Then as you build some strength, you can add a third and a fourth round through. Start with your hands stacked under your shoulders and in a good plank position. Think about mimicking the head position you'd like to in the water. Then, as you lift one hand off the ground, focus on keeping your hips as still as you can, fighting for that control, and bring that hand up to touch the opposite shoulder. Gradually bring the hand back down to the ground and repeat on the other side. If I asked you to point to your core, you might point at the front of your body where your abs are. But your core is also obliques, there's musculature on the back of your body as well, and even deeper core muscles. This one is going to work that side body a little bit. So I want you to focus on stacking that elbow right under your shoulder. And then you can either stagger your feet or stack your feet, lifting off the ground and holding this position in a nice straight line. If you need to modify, you can also drop the knees to the ground and still hold that straight line position from knee to shoulder in that case. Moving on, let's focus on controlling rotation with this exercise. So start with your knees stacked under your hips, your hand stacked within range of your shoulder, flat on the ground, and then that band is going to run under that straight arm to the opposite side. As you rotate, I want you to focus on rotating through your mid-back, keeping your hips relatively still. So trying to fight that urge for those hips to swing completely out to the side, and then rotate back in. We are going to transition to more of a back focus with this next core exercise. Start on the ground with your eyes looking down toward the ground, head position, mimicking what you'd like to in the water. Then lift one arm and the opposite leg off of the ground and focus on lifting your leg by squeezing the glute first and then activating the back second. As you lift, lift with control, pause at the top and then lower back down. You're going to complete the same pattern with the other arm and leg as well. This next exercise will work your back, your glutes, and a little bit of your hamstrings as well. Start with your heels driven into the ground, arms out to the side for a little bit of support. Then visualize that you're pressing the floor away as you lift your hips, controlling your low back we want to avoid a large arch in the low back at the top of this movement. Pause and hold at the top for a split second and then lower back down to the ground with control. Moving right along, we're going to add a little bit more limb motion in the standing position and focus on engaging that core as the limbs go to work. So hold the weight at chest level. You can use a dumbbell or a kettlebell and then think about strong engagement through the core, protecting the spine, and then march in place, lifting that knee up with the toe pointed up as well. And as you lift, avoid tipping side to side. 